The question is, how can we deal with gun violence? Um, again, not to mention New Hampshire again, but a couple months ago, I was up in New Hampshire, and uh, a police officer in Manchester, New Hampshire, said, you know what the number one product in the elementary schools this year was? I said, no. He goes, well, it wasn't like some new toy or new coloring book or any of that stuff. It was um, bulletproof backpacks. Backpacks made with Kevlar. That was the number one product he saw in elementary schools in Manchester, New Hampshire, which tells you what parents are thinking. I mean, it just shocked me when I heard that, actually. So we got a real crisis and tragedy here. So what we got to do, in my opinion, is three things. We got to have universal background checks. We all talk about it. We actually have to get this done. It's not going to solve all the problems. We got to put limitations on military style weapons that are now sold you know, completely freely. And again, we've done that in the past. It's constitutional. The American people support it. And the third thing we got to do is do expand something that um, my state of Maryland does that actually really works. It's called red flag laws. I don't know if you know what red flag laws are, but red flag laws mean that a family member and just a family member can go to a judge and say a member of our family has a diagnosed mental illness, they have a firearm, and they've threatened someone, maybe themselves or someone else, and they can make a case to the judge. It's got to just be the family member. And the judge can actually review that evidence and make a determination if there's a risk and then order law enforcement to intervene and take the fire. And in Maryland last year, they did this 250 times. And if you talk to law enforcement, they, they'll say there's no question that the person was a real threat. So we gotta do all three of these things in my opinion. Get at the mental health illness, but also do things to try to have some sanity around who, you know, I mean, we have a Second Amendment right, which I fully support. We have a right to bear arms. But as we all know, the court has ruled there's some limits on that. You can have background checks. That's not unconstitutional. You can limit certain types of weapons. That's not unconstitutional. And you can have a court process where society determines people with certain mental illness shouldn't have a firearm. And that's constitutional. So I want to do all three of those things as president.